Rick Porter and I'm demonstrating this clean burning stove that I've built. You know, there are some huge needs in the world for a more efficient and cleaner burning stove. So a couple of billion people cook over solid fuels. The smoke kills massive numbers of people every year and that's mostly women and children. Forests disappear as trees are cut for firewood, fuels become scarce and expensive and the air is polluted. The urgent need is to be able to make much more efficient use of a wider variety of fuels and to produce a whole lot less smoke. This stove is called the Everything Nice Stove. The plans are freely available from the World Stove Corporation website. I think they called it the Everything Nice Stove because they initially made it from sugar and spice tins. I've made this from stainless steel tea and coffee canisters. I used stainless steel because I wanted something that would last a while. You can make it from much cheaper tins that would be a whole lot easier to drill as well. These stoves can burn a wide variety of fuels and uh, what I'm going to use is these cocos palm seeds uh, because I've, I've got cocos palms growing nearby. One of the great things about these stoves is they also produce a byproduct which is called biochar. Biochar is this charcoal, which is really the, ne the next big thing in sustainable agriculture. The next thing we're going to do is light this thing up. Because I'm Australian and I've always wanted to be a celebrity chef, we're going to have a go at cooking some delicious kangaroo steaks over it. We have the Everything Nice stove assembled and we've got it full of cocos palm seeds. I'm going to use fair number of these uh, barbecue fire lighters to just to make sure I really get the fire going for this video. Firestarter materials burnt down and we've got a really consistent flame going here. You can see that the flame's burning around the top of the stove. That, that means that the gas is being driven off from the main fuel. The fuel is turning into biochar and the gas is burning at the top of the stove. We get this lovely consistent flame around the top and a lot of blue in it. Now to cook some kangaroo. And place a Barbecue grill over here. Got some lovely kangaroo fillets here. Kangaroos are very lean meat, and so we marinate it in a little oil before we use it. Use some of this. Goes in on a really hot pan. We want to seal it and keep plenty of moisture in. Now I got them nice and sealed on one side. We turn them over. Smells fantastic. So it's really putting a great amount of heat into this pan. Now this meat's looking really well sealed. We're going to cover it. Just take it off the heat for a while. And let it rest in this pan. It'll continue to cook through. Now we're done. We we'll serve up our kangaroo fillet. A little fresh parsley, pepper, salt. And what better to accompany it than a glass of red wine?
chairs. So that's the Everything Nice Stove. Remember to check out the designers of it at worldstove.com and you can find out everything you want us to know and probably a whole lot more about stoves at www.bioenergylists.org.